Hey humans and welcome to this brand new YouTube channel Bella and Books. My name is Bella and these are my books. There are actually tons more but you just can't see them because little frame, little, little camera. She's, you're so cute. Anyway, there's an entire shelf of books missing because my tripod is non-existent and books are great at being stacked. So if you fall over and break halfway through, we can blame trees. Good to know, good to know. Now if there's one thing I'm good at, it's being a fangirl. If you've read my blog before, and if you haven't, don't worry, I forgive you, the link is in the description. Then you'll know that uh, I I am a fangirl. I'm a really big fangirl. Probably half the posts on my blog are about fangirling or fangirlism or, you know, <laughs> judgement that comes with fangirling. But hey, I figured why not pull all of you down into this dark pit of unrequited love with me and we can all be sad and broken hearted together forever. So today I am going to teach you how to be a fangirl in six easy steps. And that is less than wikiHow, so I feel quite proud of myself. I actually don't know, I'm just making that up. Step number one, clear your schedule. Being a fangirl takes quite a lot of time, energy and commitment, so if you're expecting to be a fangirl but also get good grades and enough sleep, you are crazy and maybe, just maybe, you will fit in here. So just be aware that if you are going to travel down this path of love, hate, light, darkness, everything in between, you are going to run out of time. But the thing is, you probably won't feel bad about it because you will have books. <laughs> no lie. So number two, start a Twitter, blog or Tumblr. Now when you become a fangirl, you're going to get these things called feels, highly contagious, extremely dangerous and quite deadly. Now in order to inoculate yourself against these feels, you're going to need to start up some form of um, stream of consciousness. A stream of consciousness. Stream of consciousness. Stream of consciousness. Basically, you're going to need somewhere where you can just kind of spurt all your feels so that you actually don't explode because it has happened. It has happened. Step number three, choose your fandom. These days, there are tons of fandoms to choose from, so just take your pick. Some of my personal favorites include, but are not limited to, The Hunger Games, Divergent, The Fault in Our Stars, and more. Also, a thing you'll find with fandoms when you pick one is generally they revolve around a book. Sometimes movies, sometimes celebrities, mainly books, and there is nothing wrong with that. Step number four, find a fan account on Instagram or Tumblr. These accounts are super important in your fandom life because they're going to keep you up to date, whether it be on new stills from the new film adaptation that's coming out, or an edit, or a ship update. We like our ships in fandoms. Learn that. Learn that quickly. But be warned, fan accounts are a necessary evil, because once you see a spoiler, there is no going back. You will always know that those two characters are brother and sister, and that ship? You're not even going to let it sail. Now the fifth step is to fill up every wish list you own with fandom merch. Fangirls delight in having trinkets, bits and bobs, memorabilia, anything really that reminds them of their favourite tale. Merch is especially helpful when you actually venture outside because it acts almost like a mating call to other fangirls in your fandom and then you can all come together and you'll actually have friends that aren't on the internet like wow and finally step number six is to destroy friendships and relationships with fandom arguments there are a couple of girls at my school and uh we don't normally get along when this certain topic comes up because we all have very different points of view even though there's only one way to pronounce tobias Am I right? Am I right? I am right. Arguments can occur not just in your fandom, but with other fandoms as well. Particularly if you're a Hunger Games fandom, and then there's the Twilight fandom. Things just get really ugly really quick. So it's good always to have your fan pals around you in case a circumstance arises where you need to defend your fandom. Because you will defend your fandom to the death. Anyway, some popular points of arguments can include whether a love triangle actually helps or mm, hinders the story, whether the main hero of the story should be male or feminine, and of course, which fandom has the worst movie adaptation. Because there are some pretty bad ones out there. I'm looking at you, Percy Jackson. 
So there you have it, six simple and easy steps on how to become a fangirl. Obviously, if you're a guy, this can apply to you as well, but in my personal experience, if you want to be a fanboy, you kind of already are. Um, you're already there, you're already awesome, just run with it. Just love it, enjoy it, embrace it. So guys, that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the like button and of course subscribe and comment down below what fandom you belong to and if you think my steps were correct because, I don't know, I'm tired and I'm making a video. This can't end well. Follow me around the internet. Stalk me. It's a lot of fun. I post quite regularly. Um, links will be in the description. Because when you put links, you put them in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let's see if I feel motivated to do more.